Hey, Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Ernesto, Sonia, and Dion on that phone call that happened July 11th, 2023. That whole phone call was hilarious. It really was. To me, it was it was just funny as hell. I got a good kiki out of it. <laughs> Sonia told Dion she needs $250. Now she's talking to this man like they are best friends, like they are homegirls and homeboys. First of all, why are you even approaching him like that? And I don't think Dion likes Sonia like that. <laughs> so I don't know what her malfunction was that day or what pill she took or what she was on. But honey, homegirl was moving real slippery. Okay, on that phone call, the way she was talking, she, it's like she didn't give two fucks about nobody. She was asking for that $250. But girl, don't you have it? Because she said, I got $250. I pay my bills and save. <laughs> Listen, did you guys, how do you feel about that? Did y'all enjoy that? Crazy. So Dion said he got four cars and his daddy truck. And she was like, okay, you got four cars. You got to have $250. And she just kept going on and on and on. And I was like, oh, would she stop it? Like, come on. And you could tell Nesto didn't like that because he was trying to intervene. But she... In true Sonya fashion, honey, she was not trying to hear it. She was over talking. I was going to say her father. Lord have mercy. Her boo-boo. But anyway, Sonya and Dion was talking about Nesto's case, right? They they was also talking about the victim and her dad. So, you know, the victim that wants to be a rapper, Nesto knows the dad. Okay, so Dion doesn't like it when Nesto beat around the bush or he talks in cold. And I can understand that because you barely could talk, sir. You barely could pronounce your words and you up there trying to talk in cold and nobody doesn't understand what the heck you're saying. I don't even think you understand what you're saying. But honey, when Sonya says she got $250 and she pays her bills and saves, I was like, oh girl, what is going on? Nesto said, hold up, hold up, stop it. This is just too much. <laughs> Nesto wasn't having it with Sonya and Dion on the phone, honey. He wasn't having it. He said, hold up, this is too much right now. <laughs> So when Dion got off the phone, Nesto said, you know, you could tell he was kind of aggravated. He was like, I don't know what happened. And she said, it ain't nothing happened, nothing happened. He told Sonya she's all he got, that he got, right? And she didn't have to call Dion because he doesn't have it. But my thing is this, he didn't know that Sonya was going to call was gonna call Dion. Did she just call him out the blue? Or being fast by calling him because she needed that two hundred and fifty dollars. Who shall? Anyway, let me know in the comment section. Maybe I missed something, honey. I don't know. So at one point in the conversation, he was talking to Sonya, but Sonya wasn't listening because he said he said you heard me, and she was like she said something. He said no, see you're not listening. <laughs> you're not listening to me. <laughs> He said, I, I need you to listen. I need you to listen and understand what I was saying. And here goes Sonya. She said, well, I pay for everything else. Why your son can't come up with $250? <laughs> Child. Oh, my God. But anyway, so Nesto and Sonya, they talking about the case, right? Nesto said his own people treat him like he's poor. Nesto, news flash, breaking news, trending news. You are poor, sir. You don't have no money. You don't have a win a, 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 a pot to piss in and a window to throw it out of. I mean, you do, but it has bars on it. So you still don't have a pot to piss in. But anyway, <laughs> you are poor. You are. You are poor. You, I don't understand. You were a scammer. And some scammers have money, you know, 
put away for a rainy day, but you are a poor scammer. Mm, mm, mm. But you are poor in that stuff because you don't have any money. You are dependent on everybody else to put money on your books, to make phone calls. Who has time for that? That's a lot of money. You can't just depend on folks to put money on your books all the time. That's not how it works, honey. But anyway. Nesto told Sonya, honey, she need to get her mother effing mind right. He don't need her breaking down right now. He sound like one of them old pimps from Truck Turner. <laughs> Oh my goodness! See the see every now and then the real Nesto slips out, honey. That aggressive guy, oh yeah, he comes out. That thug guy, oh yeah, he comes out every now and then. The real Nesto shows up. So now it's Dion and Nesto's conversation, right? So Dion was talking to um Dion and Nesto talking about Shirley. And, you know, Dion was saying that she needs her space. She's dealing with a lot. Now, Dion calls Shirley to check up on her. But here's the thing. Here's what I don't like. Why do you have Nesta on the other end? That's like, and I know later on she heard the phone calls and she probably was pissed off. And that's probably why she's not answering Dion's phone calls now. If you want to call and check up on somebody... Oh, check up on somebody. Just um, do that. Don't have the other person on the end. You know what I'm saying? I didn't like that. <sighs> Let me know how you guys um, how you guys um felt about that. Oh, I'm in my car and I'm talking to you because this is the only quiet time that I have. This lady scared the mess out of me. <laughs> I'm here talking to you guys and I see somebody stopping by the car and I look, she was fixing her hair because it... <laughs> I was about to say, uh-uh. <laughs> but anyway, so it, yeah, let's talk. So uh, let's get back to this Dion and Nesto thing. So um, Dion said he wasn't helping nobody with their rap career because Nesto wanted Dion to help the girl. And he was like, uh-uh, I'm not helping my, nobody with nothing. And that's the smartest thing that Dion could have ever done. He was like, uh-uh. Dion know how his father gets down. He knows. So did I listen to this correctly when he said Shirley gave Nesto a box of candles and he gave it to Dion's mom? I remember Shirley having some candles or somebody was making candles. And I think Shirley was, um, was it Sheridan that was doing candles? No, Sheridan was doing skincare, but I remember seeing, uh, uh, candles and, um, so he said, Shirley gave Nesto a box of candles and he gave it to Dion's mom. Did I hear that correctly? Y'all let me know in the comment section. Let me know. And then here go Dion talking about Sheridan. He's talking about because Sheridan ain't right. Shirley ain't, you know, used to what's going on. And that's true. Shirley isn't used to this whole criminal lifestyle. Okay? She's not used to that. And she's not going to ever get used to that. And she shouldn't have to get used to that. See, <sighs> Nesto did a number on Shirley. You know? She's older than him. And she was at a point in her life where she wanted to date. But she also wants to be a wife. And he only married her so that he can have some type of status connected to him. And the fact that he married her on, her, on his birthday is, to me, would be like, ugh, no. Because he was, more, he was more happy about the damn birthday party than the wedding. And I'm like, this dude here is something else. But... Dion, you can't say Sheridan ain't right. You not right either now. You know, you not, you don't have all your marbles either. Remember who your father is. And he is definitely touch and not by an angel. So Dion said Nesto folks was talking crazy, but he's talking about Sonya. 
He said, she don't know me. <laughs> and don't. <laughs> and don't. <laughs> But here's the kicker. Here's the killer part. All right, the killer part. Nesto said everybody wants him, but they can't afford him. What? What? Do you, and of course, here go little Nesto Jr. talking about, yeah, man, that me too. The same with me. What do you guys got going on that nobody can't afford y'all? Please talk to me. Somebody pull my coattail and tell me. What did this all for? Because, never mind. Let me. <laughs> Listen, one thing Dion going to do is he going to agree with his father, okay? He said he tell his folks, you know, that others can't afford him talking about other women. I don't think, we, mm, like I said, I ain't even going to say nothing. Somebody can't afford them. Child, please. All you need is an EBT card. That's all you... Okay. So, Dion told Nesto, right, the folks he was calling, those folks are broke. He got to get the chocolate one number. The light-skinned chubby one ain't got nothing going on. So, who are they talking about? Let me know in the comment section because I've heard so many calls. My mind get all scrambled up. Who are they talking about? Those folks are broke. The chocolate one, he got to get the chocolate one number. And the light-skinned chubby one ain't got nothing going on. Hmm. That kind of let me know what's up with that. Now, Dion and Nesto talking about Shirley. Basically, Dion was saying that Shirley, you know, wasn't about this life. And she's she isn't doing too good with, you know, with everything that's going on. And her money is, her money is not great. You, you know what I'm saying? Like he's he's team Shirley, but hmm, I don't know. I don't know. He's team Shirley. He's gonna always defend Shirley. That's what he told his daddy. You know, he's gonna always defend her because this is not the lifestyle she wanted. She didn't agree to this type of lifestyle. And I could agree with Dion on that. Who wants to be dealing with all this stuff late in age? I mean, I don't care how old you are. You shouldn't be dealing with this type of stuff anyway. But surely she wants to just chill and enjoy life. She enjoys being on Steve Harvey, you know, morning show. She gets, she loves it. And she just want to have a normal life and be bougie. Okay? Because Shirley is bougie. We know that. We know that. She's a classy woman. She's classy based. Okay? Now, here go Nesto talking about old Debbie, calling her balloon pop. <laughs> it's not funny. It's not funny. <laughs> this man, where did he get these names from? Talking about Debbie staying with Shirley, and Dion said uh, she didn't mention balloon pop. And Nesto said balloon pop ain't working. <laughs> And Dion said he got into it with his mama about Shirley, honey. Let me find out, Dion. Dion said, yeah, I'm uh, I'm going to defend Shirley. You know, y'all always told me right is right and wrong is wrong. And he don't give a damn. So, okay. All right, now. Now, Dion told Nesto that everybody wants to be in his folks' shoes. Talking about Shirley. Everybody wants to be in Shirley's shoes. <clears throat> and Dion said, that's why these other folks was acting salty on the phone. Nesto said, they can't and they need to stay in their own position. Dion said, she got two more times now. She got two more times to get slick with me. And it's a wrap. And he gonna let her have it. Baby, you heard that song, yeah? Dion said, you got two more times to act like that with him. And it's a wrap. So go ahead and do it two more times so we can hear what he say to you, boo. <laughs> Nesto said, yeah, you asked for this. I wasn't looking for you. You found me. Hot damn ho, here we go again. <laughs> what? Nesto! What? Nesto! He's, let me run that back. 
He said, you asked for this. I wasn't looking for you. You was looking for me. She inserted herself in this situation. And that is the truth. Wow. Mm, mm -mm. Oh, they was talking big-ish on this phone call, baby. They was talking big-ish. Mm, mm, mm. Now, remember the part where Sonia was um talking to Nesto, and I think they was talking about Shirley, and she was like, oh, yeah, I'm, um, he don't like to talk about that around me or whatever the case may be. She was getting, she was getting jealous. She was getting jealous. And I'm going to tell you why she was getting jealous. Nesto is still concerned about Shirley, okay? Even though, and this is, a, you know, this call is old, even though he did her wrong and stuff like that, but she is, he was still concerned about her. And I do think he has a little bit of love left in his heart for Shirley, but he just didn't do right by her. He know, he know he dropped the ball. He knows that. He also know that Sonya don't have don't have the money like that. Sonya cannot give Nesto the lifestyle he was out here scamming and jamming with. Okay, but we are gonna see how all that play out. Now the next call was July twelfth, two thousand twenty three, and baby, this was not Nesto's um. <laughs> account this is somebody else's account i think this is one of the hidden calls but um phone calls from prison oh she came through baby she came through so nesta wants dion to call shirley all right and of course dion called shirley to tell her about the truck you know shirley wasn't aware that nesta was on the other end and i think that was messed up because you know she the way she talks to Dion is like she really still, you know, have some love for him and everything like that. But when she finds out that Nesta was on the other end, she is not going to want to talk to Dion anymore. She's going to start drifting off from him and everything. Because how could you do that? How dare you? How dare you? But anyway, guys, that's that's it with this whole Nesta and Sonya Dion fiasco. Child, they are just too much. I did enjoy these phone calls, honey. I really did. So you know how we do, boo-boo. Let me know in the comment section about this whole phone call and how you guys feel about it. All right? So I will talk to you guys later.